Yeah, if you're following along, you already know that I'm Zach and that's Christopher, but if you're new, you didn't. And we're Dream EV and we're building an electric powered vanity. Last episode, you saw us working on the front suspension. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to carry on there today. We're still waiting on a few parts and unfortunately, they're not coming in the mail anytime soon. So, we're going to switch some gears, switch to the battery pack. We're going to actually stick the batteries in today, I guess. High voltage, 360 thereabouts, volts of uh, angry pixies. We're going to be very careful. We're going to wire up a battery pack. That's the plan at least. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's the amps that kill you. <laughs> oh, batteries. Let's go. Woo. I'm glad we just walked away because I pooted and it was not pleasant. Okay, so if you've been following along for any length of time, you might know that the last head unit that controls the drive unit failed to function properly. It just needed to be sent back to the manufacturer. They don't make it anymore. Um, we had to get their second generation product, and that's what this is. <clears throat> this is the T2C. Very similar. It doesn't have a screen. You have to use an iPad app if you want to change settings. No big deal. Um, because it's the same manufacturer, it basically bolts right in with uh, new wires and new plugs. Um, the only di only thing difference is that uh, it required a couple more fuses. Luckily, we had a couple extra spots in our fuse board, so we just wired it up and set it in. Um, now that that's out of the way and we can physically start the unit, we can start grabbing our batteries off the shelf, take them to the table, and do some measurements on them. Okay, so we have our batteries on the table in front of us, and we're going to take measurements of each module. They've been sitting on the shelf for some time, so we got to know if they've dropped voltage. And it looks like um, the cells dropped about a tenth of a volt over the period of time sitting on the shelf. Um, we're going to take these numbers that we're measuring right now, figure out how the pack is going to be arranged most optimally, and then uh, if any of them are out of spec, we can drain them down using either a light bulb or a heater or some element that'll put a, a load on the battery. All right, we've named all of our batteries and exactly one of them is a little higher than we want. So it's a candidate for drain down. I think we're gonna take it over and hand it to Zach and he'll show you a little bit more about that. All right, here is our setup. We have a voltmeter constantly monitoring the voltage of the battery. We are timing it and jotting down notes on how long it takes for voltages to start dropping. And then dropping that voltage is this heater. We have it hooked up to the battery, which works fine for the heating element. It'll run off the DC voltage. However, the fan wants AC voltage. So we have to have this other fan blowing through the heating element to keep it cooled down so it doesn't blow up. Um, that's it. We're dropping this voltage down. We'll see how it goes. Okay, quick update. We're about half an hour in and we're dropped about a volt. So we imagine about another hour of this and uh, then she'll be ready. Alright, here is our battery box sitting on our part that we made, roly roly, but we did make one unfortunate mistake. We didn't leave access for our switch. There's a board right there. So I have to modify the cart so that we can access the switch uh, once it's all wired up and sitting there. So that's what I'm going to do now.
Okay, well here's the pack. We got it in front of us. We took our, our 12 modules. These are reclaimed from um, a Chrysler Pacific Hybrid and uh, I think Cadillac also ran a model that had these same cells in them. Um, we have 12 of these LG Chem Cell modules and each module has 16 individual power cells in it. Each module gives about 2.6 kilowatt hours of power and total, all 12 together, um, will put out about 32 kilowatt hours. We're hoping that this van's gonna go about 100 miles on a charge. Should be perfect for city driving. Because we're going with the Tesla rear drive unit, we need somewhere around 360 volts for the system to be happy. So we have six pairs in series that gives us our uh, nominal voltage, about 380 I think is where our charge is at this moment. We went through the trouble of matching these very strategically, right? We named each battery. We <laughs> we named each battery, we uh, recorded its voltage, and we figured out who it's going to best be paired with. As far as I understand, you want, you can, as long as the pairings are approximately the same in its capacity and its charge state, it should be good, right? So what we did is we paired a strong module with a weak module all the way around. And it's just that the voltage charge is a little higher on the inner rail is what it is. There was one cell that came out and didn't really have a good dancing partner. And so what we had to do is we had to take uh, Mr. Wilt, hook him up to a uh, household heater, and convert the stored energy into heat. So we basically burned off that extra energy. We brought that down to the nominal 61.0 voltage that uh, the uh, other cells are at, that the other modules are at, and then we paired it up with Steve. Now Wilt and Steve are dancing partners from here on out. We did go ahead and connect everything. The, the pack is turned off currently, so we should be good to slide it under the van and give it our first test. All the voltages read right, so I'm optimistic. Right in front of the van, you can see that. We're, we're all very aware of this. I'm in the passenger seat. Hello. At, at the back of the van, we have all of the work we've been working on for months. Underneath the van, we have the battery pack we just stuck together. And now we're going to try it. Let's power switch on. All right. Then contact us. You heard the man. This is it. We're about to put high voltage to the system. All right, what Christopher is doing here is reaching up under the battery box and flipping our main power switch. Well, removing the zip tie first. Well, it's zip tied in the off position, yeah. so I had to cut the zip tie first. But Well, they're removable, so I can reuse this. Okay, so he removed the zip tie, whatever. Okay, okay, we're ready? Sure, why not? On your mark. Get set, go. Hey, no drama's good. No drama's real good, like guys. What even happen? All right, let's go look over here. So now, that has full voltage coming into it. We can test it, let's test and it. And then it stops there, because we want it to stop there right now. Negative to negative, positive to positive. And it looks like we got 376.3 volts. 376. Okay. That'll make our little motor happy. That's go. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, okay. All right, Zach, we ready? All right, we're in drive. All right, I'm gonna back up and get a shot of the wheels. We are rolling footage. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. All right, not that you can really see what's going on there, but this is our uh, control our stuff screen. So you've got your iPad with its neutral drive, reverse, and RPM and whatnot. But if you want to get in and start changing stuff with our battery management and all that, you go into this like MS DOS looking screen. And uh, so we 
powered everything on, we got blinky red light of death. And we were like, hey, why is it blinky red light of death? Turns out all our all our cells are up to about what? 3.9 volts. volts. And our high voltage limit was set to 3.4 or something like that. But these will safely contain 4.2. So we changed our high voltage limit. Now everything seems to be happy. Now we're gonna see if we can turn some wheels. Come with me. Anything? Nothing. Oh, it's in neutral. Okay, we're gonna put it in drive. Once again, Joe shooting 101. It works! Get a little juice. Let's spin the wheels a little faster, see what happens. Just a little bit. Just a little zing. Whoa! That was a lot more zing than I thought you were going to give it. I just gave it a little zing. <laughs> Apparently, it only knows a lot of zing. Hey, Christopher. Yes, Zach. Tell me your thoughts on it working. I am pleased. Excited, buddy? We are very excited here. That wheel was moving. The vehicle's not moving under its own power yet. It's kind of hovering over its power. I mean, it. It's hovering it's over doing its power. It. It's doing it. Actually, that's pretty accurate. It's hovering over its power. Uh, but we tested everything out and it works. And, you know, very soon it will move under its own power. We just have to put the battery pack on and then we have to put the wheels on. But uh, still exciting to get this far and then finally have electrical things happening. It's very good. Yes, yes. Uh, on that note of wheels putting on, we put a shout out out there. We were like, hey, help us, please. Uh, and... And we had a viewer come through in a big way. He offered to send us some parts, and we are indebted to this viewer. Yeah, we want to take this time to say thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. So, Andy, I have a hat coming your way in the mail. I hope you'll wear it. Um, and then when we're done with our spindles, I'll be sure to send it back. He's good people. He's good people.